right, we'll be back. The ribs are ready. Got to go eat. <laughs> okay. We'll, we'll be back in a minute.
So I had to add a little more water, but um, let's let it sit and get its color back, and then we're gonna add this design. These are all Barry King tools, Barry King mallets. I'm just gonna go boop, 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 all the way around, and I'm gonna go around the name. Yep, it's gonna look pretty good.
So far I antiqued it and that's oil. What is it called? Like minx foot oil? Let it soak in there. So always oil the leather so it doesn't dry out. Anyway, you just gotta put a liner on the inside, stitch it up, and put some sealer on it. Oh, lucky I remembered. Look at this. Almost forgot the dangler, D hook. Woo hoo, that would have been a close one. Yep, this one's getting a dangler. A dingling dangler. Okay.
hate it when I push the wrong lever. I think we're okay though. Yeah, it's a little cricket. Ah, oh, that sucks. We got the stitching out of there, so we're going to try to make a line and restitch it. That'll be our new stitch line. I'm going to go ahead and put some color in there, and then we're going to restitch it. So we got a new stitch line and we colored it. So let's see how that works out. Now we gotta put a liner in the back here. The liner, liner the whole thing up. Well, let me put the uh, the buttons in first, the two snaps. When it's folded, it'll be snap here. And then I'm gonna put the liner and then stitch all this. And then we gotta put this in here. And then stitch it up. It's looking good.
needed to go after the line with this one. Let me put in now. This is the one I went in now. Alright, so now I can put the liner on. This one I can't put on until after because it sticks up. So it's folded like that, boom. Alright. Alright, so the glue's dry now. Let's see if we can get this on here. we have left is just to stitch it oh and we have to make the dangler hook That's it. It's all done. I just gotta make the dangler.
Hey YouTube, I wanted to show you the knife. I finished Brad's knife with the Green Mountain Metal Detecting. Um, he's got a good challenge, you guys should go check it out. Uh, he, he lives in Vermont, so he's up in the mountains there. He finds a lot of good stuff. He actually found an ingot and mailed it to me. And I told him I'd make him a knife. And uh, most people thought I meant a knife out of the ingot, but it's raw iron, you know, it rusts a lot. Um, I mean, I probably could have made the bolster or something out of it, right? The guard. But I think what I'm going to do when I get time is make um, a letter opener. So that should be pretty easy. And, you know, I guess if it's in the house, it ain't going to rust too much, right? Anyway, here's his knife. I finished it. It's Damascus. Um, it's got a burl handle dyed with green. I put some Damascus pins in there. Um, I put jade liner and white liner, paper liner. Came out pretty nice. I don't know if you can see the jade in there. Uh, it's balanced actually pretty good. Drilled a lot of holes in the handle to lighten it up. Um, and I sharpened it somewhat. Let's see. So it's pretty sharp. And this is the leather sheet I made. I put um, a black liner in it. So it kind of helps from it rusting, I guess, and moisture. But I guess, um, and scratching and everything. But you really don't want to keep a knife in the, in the sheet like this because it will rust. Um, it takes a couple of years to get a patina on this, you know. You, you always want to oil it. And if it starts rusting, still wool it. Keep it oiled. Um, you kind of see it already trying to rust right here. So I cleaned it up and oiled it. But you just got to keep an eye on it, you know. But anyway, I made him a Kydex sheet too. Because I don't know if he wants to carry this around up in the mountains with him. But that's why I put the dangler on there. Just in case, you know, when you're bending over, digging a hole, you, this moves with you. Or you can take it off and just put it on your belt. It don't matter. So it's got that. And then this one too. This is pretty nice, huh? Kydex. And this is a good little clip. You can adjust it to whatever belt size you want. And you can move it around different holes. Turn it sideways. Do a scout carry if you want. Clip it on your vest. So that's all done and ready to be shipped. And I actually made him a wallet too. <laughs> um, this is Cordovan leather, a horse, the butt of the horse. It's pretty expensive. It's like 25 bucks a square foot. All of it's Cordovan, even this. And then I put my logo right there and I put one right here. We really can't see it too much. I probably should have heated it up more when I stamped it. And then with my laser, I put Apple to Grove. That's actually the job I'm on right now. Um, it's a fancy mall in Beverly Hills. A lot of actors and actresses go there and YouTubers. And you see a lot of people filming and stuff there. Um, I don't know. I couldn't, I didn't know what to put there. I just couldn't figure out anything. So I said, ah, I'll put Apple to Grove. What the hell? Anyway, you'll probably trip on that. Uh, so anyway, we're going to ship this off Monday. I already had it all boxed up and I forgot to make this last video. But I hope you guys enjoy it, and uh, please, if you do, give me a thumbs up. And if you want to subscribe to my channel, I'd, I'd appreciate it. Um, if you do, hit the bell notification, and then I'll let you know, or I guess YouTube will let you know when I'm going to make the uh, letter opener, okay? All right, you guys, have a good one. Thank you.